Hello everybody, I know that I haven't been uploading, um, my last upload was around more than six months ago and I thank everyone for still being subscribed to my channel despite all the time that has passed. I wanted to make something different uh, to get back to the channel and I'm going to do something that is called stitch panoramas. So, what is a stitch panorama, you ask? A stitch panorama is taking four pictures of a frame, right? And then you stitch them together. Um, I use a program called Lightroom, but there are many other options where you can compose the, the picture as, to, as a final product. Another problem I found is that since you are stitching four pictures or three or even more depending on your needs if you take the photos too far from each other uh, there may be uh, moments where information is going to be missing from the picture also even if the photo is stitched correctly uh, there may be a distortion uh, the photo may seem stretched, so you have like to use your um, intuition and uh, your perception to try to match the photo as close as you can to reality. Because if not, it's going to look it's, lo it's going to look bizarre or strange. And today, uh, in order to test this uh, technique. I traveled with Malu to a place called El Carajo, which is around one hour from the city. And she took me on a trail to basically allow me to test this technique on um, nature or on landscape. I wanted to try to, uh, I wanted to make nature photographs, which gave you a sense of the space. Even though if my photos are not as panoramic as you can uh, achieve with this technique, I wanted to give a sense of give a sensation of the space, as I mentioned. Okay, now that I have covered the basics, I'm going to show you guys all the panoramas I captured while hiking with Malu. Uh, I hope you like them. Um yeah, here we go. Okay, so those are the pictures I got with this technique. Another thing uh, I wanted to mention is that since the files are larger as well, you can print them and you're, you're going to have a lot of detail. So if you don't want to invest in a medium format camera, which this is like a poor man's version of having a sensor that can be three or four five times larger than you are actually have. I don't want to get into all the technical aspects, but it's a cool way to approach photography from a dis different perspective. You don't have to buy any new accessory. You don't have to buy any kind of lenses. It's just using your uh, mind to s imagine how the final product is going to look while taking the photos. And so it's a fun experiment. Uh, after I traveled to El Carajo, I kept shooting more uh, panoramic landscapes, trying different configurations, and I have seen how the results are becoming more natural um, as I 
gain a little more experience on the technique. Okay, thank you so much everyone for watching my stitch panoramas video. I'm already making a follow-up, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to leave my Instagram if you want to check out all my work. And um, since I will be uploading more frequently and you are new here, please subscribe. It really helps me a lot. Or leave a comment. So thank you and that's it for today's video. Peace.